Isaiah 47 Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind flour. Put off your veil, strip off your robe, uncover your legs, pass through the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered, and your disgrace shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, is the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence and go into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called the Mistress of Kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I profaned my heritage. I gave them into your hand. You showed them no mercy. On the aged, you made your yoke exceedingly heavy. You said, I shall be mistress forever. So that you did not lay these things to heart or remember their end. Now therefore hear this, you lover of pleasures who sit securely, who say in your heart, I am and there is no one besides me. I shall not sit as a widow or know the loss of children. These two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood shall come upon you in full measure, in spite of your many sorceries and the great power of your enchantments. You felt secure in your wickedness. You said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge led you astray, and you said in your heart, I am, and there is no one besides me. But evil shall come upon you which you will not know how to charm away. Disaster shall fall upon you for which you will not be able to atone, and ruin shall come upon you suddenly of which you know nothing. Stand fast in your enchantments and your many sorceries with which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you may be able to succeed. Perhaps you may inspire terror. You are wearied with your many counsels. Let them stand forth and save you, those who divide the heavens, who gaze at the stars, who at the new moons make known what shall come upon you. Behold, they are like stubble. The fire consumes them. They cannot deliver themselves from the power of the flame. No coal for warming oneself is this. No fire to sit before. Such to you are those with whom you have labored, who have done business with you from your youth. They wander about, each in his own direction. There is no one to save you.